Hi Syndicates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, the best place for avant-garde makeup and high-end retouching. Today I got a lot of questions about how I make my customized face charts and because none of the ones on Google that I tried to download fit my face shape, I decided to create my own and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you're interested in knowing how to make your own customized face charts to your own selfies, then keep on watching. I'm using the iPad and also the app called Procreate. And Procreate's super cheap, so I highly recommend using it. I think it's so worth it. But if you don't want to use Procreate, you can also download anything like Photoshop, Illustrator, and the same principles of what I'm teaching you today apply to any of those apps. So it's up to you whether or not you want to pay for another service or just create your own face chart on a different platform. It doesn't matter. So what you want to do is you're going to open the Procreate app and upload your first selfie. So once you open Procreate, I already have some old artboards, but what you want to do is go up to the upper right hand corner, click the plus button, and then pick a canvas that you want to use. And I'm using the 8.5 by 11, which is a letter sized canvas. And in order to zoom in and out, you're going to use your two fingers and pinch in and out. In order to upload a selfie, you're going to go to this button here and then insert a photo. So I already just took a selfie, so I'm going to just import that really quickly and I'm going to take the edges of the canvas and also be able to pinch it outwards in order to expand the photo until it fills up most of the space on the layer. Now I have this all positioned just like I want to. I'm going to go up here and insert a new layer with the plus button. I can change my brush color into any of them, but I'm going to just choose a bright color so it's easy to identify. And I'm going to change my brush to inking and studio pen so it's easy for me to identify. So what I want to do is make sure I'm on the right layer and start drawing the outside of my face shape. And you can be as accurate as you want or you can be rough around the edges because it's just supposed to be an outline, like a guide. You can place where your ears are. I think I personally chose not to include my ears because I don't really paint my ears. I think it's more important for me to just to have my face shape cracked. For my eyebrows, you can adjust your brush size. If you make a mistake, use two fingers and just tap and it'll undo whatever you were doing. Try to get your eye shape. And I like to just add in where my pupils are. You don't have to draw your eyelashes. I actually choose not to put my eyelashes on. And then draw where my nostrils are. Draw the bridge of my nose, but not the rest of it. And for my lips, I'm outlining top lip and bottom lip. And if you make a mistake, you can always go to the eraser, click on it to make sure that it's on the same type of brush, adjust this brush size, and delete the excess parts that you don't like. Now going back to your layers, you can unclick your photo and you kind of have your face chart. So what you can do from here on out is start to make changes. So there's a couple things I forgot to draw here. For example, my other eye crease. And then you go to adjustments, click on opacity, and just drag it down. So the opacity is less than 50%. Add another layer, take the black, and then you can refine exactly like how your drawing is going to be. So just continuously refine it and you can make changes as you go along. I separated the layer for my face and for my facial features. And the way that I did that was if you just had this layer and not the one below it. So I'm going to delete that so I can show you. Swipe to the left, duplicate it, make sure that it's selected. Go to your eraser tool and you just want to all your facial features on the inside. When you are done doing that, then you want to drag that underneath. Now the reason I want these to be completely separated is because when I'm drawing and I have this on, picking a skin tone, for example, this is the go-to skin tone I use, it's just one of the defaults. I'm going to drag that in here. And the issue with using this is that now, you know, my eye is not filled in and if I wanted to make any changes or any additional coloring to the skin, I won't be able to because I'm going to mess up the features, which I don't want. So I'm going to undo that. Instead, by having this other layer, I'm able to change my features if I would like to. For example, sometimes I like to get rid of my eyebrows, so I'd like to see what it would look like without damaging the original skin layer. Also to change the background color, 
you just pick a hue that you like. There we go. And then when we start drawing, you just add a layer. You can click clipping mask so that you're drawing within this layer, which means that if I were to start drawing things all over the place, it wouldn't go outside of the bounds of the layer underneath it. So I can start drawing crazy looks. Ta-da! And another trick that I use for symmetrical drawings is to click on this, go to canvas, click drawing guide, edit drawing guide, and hit symmetry. And you can change the color of your margin. So I just go with this color and done. So that means that the layer that I have selected right now is assisted by Procreate in terms of symmetry and I'll be able to draw something on one side and it'll just replicate it on the other side. And that's a super easy way to see how your design will look on both sides of your face. Now, if you just wanna open a new layer, you can just tap that one more time and you can underneath the clipping mask, see that there's a drawing assist option now. So you're gonna click on that, then that means it's also gonna be symmetrical. At any point, you can also choose to undo the drawing assist and also undo the clipping mask. And then you can see how things change. It won't undo everything that you've done. Swipe on the layer to delete it. And there you have it. That's a super basic way of drawing your face chart on Procreate iPad. Now by using these techniques, you can use your iPad to also create lots of different digital artworks that can later be translated into your makeup looks. These are some of the looks that I've designed. This one or my TikTok inspired look. That one I use a symmetry tool, different series. You can stack the series together. So I have an entire series for fashion houses. And really, it's super versatile. I highly recommend using it. But like I said, these techniques can be used on paper, not even digitally. I hope that helps you improve your workflow a little bit and help you with more content creation. If you have any questions or suggestions or requests for other tutorials, leave them in the comments below. And if I pick the ideas for the next video, I will provide a shout out as well to your account. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can see all the new videos that I'm putting out week after week after week. As usual, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Sorry, just me and my wood. We really need a bigger apartment.